Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today it's a special occasion uh, because on my channel, as you know, I'm 100% free-to-play player. I have never made a guide uh, about pay only pay-to-win uh, hero. Uh, this pay-to-win hero is one of the most usable and one of the most oldest and actually the best mage hero in the game since the introduction of the Call of Dragons in general. I'm pretty excited and pretty happy uh, so that I gathered enough information after all of these seasons that I can share uh, my opinion about Lilia, which I see in every almost every single war, in almost every single statue war, roots of war, Basically, uh, if you are low spender, if you are like a whale, you are using Lilia, right? Uh, unfortunately, Lilia is only gettable from uh, paying the game. Uh, for free-to-play players like me who does not want to spend a single dollar in this game, uh, it's uh, like one of the worst decisions for us. But yeah, whatever, I'm not going to speak about the decisions, I'm going to speak about Lilia itself. So first of all, how in general we can get Lilia uh, in the game is to pay at least one dollar which I would not recommend uh, because Lilia's main powers and main strengths comes uh, in a different way that simply by unlocking Lilia does not give you anything. You need to uh, spend even more in order to get the full potential of the Lilia. Uh, One dollar uh, for the unlocking the legendary hero and also if you want to spend some more uh, you need to pay uh, somewhere near $100 in order to get uh, Lilia tokens. And I think Lilia doesn't really cost $1. Uh, Lilia cost $101. Uh, that's the main idea of the whole uh, legendary hero. And that's why it's one of the, mo not one of the, the most uh, uh, famous and most used uh, legendary heroes. So yeah, enough talking about in, in general stuff. Let's uh, dive in about um, synergies and skills and why she's so good. Again, I will repeat, um, you can see that I have not unlocked Lilia simply because uh, I'm not spending even one dollar in this game. Uh, but I have enough experience. I have played uh, 329 consecutive days of this game and um, I know what I'm talking about. If I did not know, I would not say anything. So as always, let's... Uh, see what kind of skills and why she's so good and why everybody is using her uh, first of all like flames of vengeance uh, deals diffuse damage diffuse damage means that uh, like more enemy legion targets you have less damage gonna deal but yeah like uh, to the target and one nearby legion with 10 percent chance to inflict scorch i would um, tell you guys to give your attention to scorch because that's the main idea about lilia and the main thing why she's so good and yeah, like a um, skill damage factor, 1200, which is normal for legendary hero, and the probability of the Scorch is 15%. Also, what's amazing about the Scorch is that, uh, like, Scorch is dealing 200 damage, which is amazing, right, for 5 seconds, which is uh, 600, uh, which is, uh, like, 1000, but yeah. Uh, second skill... Uh, Lilia, Lilia's Legion like is dealing more damage to the peacekeeping, which is one of the useless uh, skills in the game. I know, I understand. Every time I made the uh, hero guide, I said that peacekeeping uh, is not great for a, a PvP type of legendary hero. But you can imagine, like Lilia has a one uh, skill which is not used anywhere besides farming, but still she is the best mage hero. The third skill, a magic unit uh, attack bonus and HP bonus, 10% and 20%, fine, nothing really uh, like overpower. Uh, and the third skill, when Lilia's Legion launches a normal attack, they have 10% chance to Scorch up to two surrounding enemy legions. Now we are talking, right? Scorch is the main idea behind Lilia, and the fourth skill uh, just gives us another legion where we're gonna apply our Scorch, and the probability is 30%. And uh, right now, the most important part, um, that's why I said, uh, like, simply paying $1 doesn't give you anything. You need to play, pay um, $101 in order for you to uh, use the Lilia in a best possible way. That's why I said uh, just unlocking her does not do anything, in my opinion. Now, the Awakening skill, 
deals diffuse damage to targets and two nearby legions with a 15% chance to inflict scorch deals uh, damage every second for five seconds that's the amazing change right like whenever you are fighting in wars and in this like close section uh, 15 10 legions are standing together you are applying scorch to a lot of legions like this is a huge amount of damage that's why lilia in general is like the best mage hero most damage uh, dealer hero and the favorite hero for a uh, whales and pay to win players now i hope you understand why lilia needs to have awakening skill which means you need to pay 110 dollars in order to get the full potential of the Lilia in general uh, regarding like talents unfortunately I don't have her but uh, I can still speak about her talents uh, like uh, as always for any single mage um, uh, hero skill talent tree is one of the best for mage for mage heroes skill is the best for marksman it's precision for tank it's uh, uh, for infantry it's tank and so on right so uh, whenever you are if you are playing with Lilia and if you unlocked her like 100% go for the skill tree and uh, never um, like add the points on a peacekeeping and of course like fully on a skill tree and half on a magic tree like there is no other way how to play this hero like skill tree gives you amazing amount of uh, damage uh, and in general it, it tells you everything right like uh, you like for mage heroes main uh, type of damage is skill damage and you are just giving uh, your skills more and more dps throughout the game so that's why if you have her go for a skill tree now about one of the most important hero pairs of the for the lilia like actually she's so good that she can be played in almost every single hero pairs uh, in the game uh, but let's go to the best ones at first i think lilia and Welin is amazing hero pair uh, simply because currently we don't have any other mage legendary heroes and it's pretty obvious why you would go for lilia and Welin. also Welin is like more uh, giving more buffer uh, in a way and more of a debuffer like for example uh, hero skill magic damage damage deal bonus 15% is a lot for the Lilia because Lilia is giving Scorch, a skill damage factor which means like this uh, uh, buff is amazing also like some crit rate would be amazing for Lilia uh, and also magic defense reduction of 20% like generally Welling will give your Lilia a lot of good stuff uh, which gonna help uh, your Lilia to deal amazing amount of uh, damage during any kind of situations in the game. Uh, other than that, like Waldir can be totally fine um, also because we're really dealing damage to strainer by legions and of course you should already have awakened the Waldir and that's a great idea you can even run um, uh, Lilia with Alwyn uh, not a great choice but yeah well, simply because both of them are magic units uh, totally fine but in my opinion uh, Lilia and Welin is obvious choice um, you should not like if you paid hundred and one dollar for Lilia uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have Welin in a good position in order to have uh, this epic and amazing uh, hero pair. Other than that, one uh, interesting hero pair which uh, Lilia has and which might be pretty awkward for you uh, is Lilia pairing up with Thea. Uh, I have seen a lot of people trying it, uh, like honestly. Thea is giving us hero skill damage deal, uh, which is great for Lilia. Shield factor, like you are staying alive, like in general, whenever you have a Thea on your hero pair, it means you're gonna stay alive more and you're gonna have more Scorch targets. Also, attack bonus uh, is a great, um, like here again, attack bonus, uh, attack bonus again. And of course, uh, if we even have Awakened Thea, you're gonna have more and more benefits. Uh, increasing hero skill damage deal by 15%, uh, like a lot of shielding. That's like one not natural hero pair for Lilia. Um, now it's time for us to speak about artifact, which is uh, another most important uh, aspect of the game. Uh, in my opinion, the artifact which is made uh, especially for Lilia is pretty easy to understand, uh, which is Infernal Flame. Uh, like we do have a lot of magic artifacts in the game, but there is a couple of artifacts which are made for a specific heroes, and I think uh, Infernal Flame is uh, especially made for Lilia. Uh, nothing really important, like skill damage factors on the skill on the rate skill but what's the important is additional effect 
your legion gains magic keen when the wielder inflicts scorch on enemies and as i already said um, whatever lilia does uh, it's all about scorch and like magic keen magic attack bonus 15 percent for five seconds this effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds amazing artifact like if you are especially pay to win player doesn't matter like low spend or high spend or way like i am not used to about those words um and if you paid 101 dollar for lilia you have to get infernal flame like that's a perfect combination um, other than that which artifacts will be fine for um uh, lilia is pretty obvious anything with the damage uh, on the uh, on the skill phoenix eye uh, pure damage factor um, artifact which i currently have a more level you're gonna get more damage factor you are going to have and also like in the last stage i think you're gonna get five enemy legions uh, in the designated circle so if infernal flame is hard for you to get go for phoenix eye other than that i would not recommend to use any support or like utility legendary artifacts on um, lilia but if you are in a weird situation that you don't have um, attacking a major legendary artifact, you can always go to the Magic Bomb, which is a uh, budget version of the Phoenix Eye. Uh, that's why, like, Phoenix Eye and the Magic Bomb are kind of similar. But, like, Magic Bomb is epic, of course, and legendary is the Phoenix Eye. Uh, but, like, uh, Infernal Flame, uh, not a better choice than that. But if you don't have Infernal Flame, Phoenix Eye or Magic Bomb. I would I would not speak more about other artifacts because I always speak about artifacts which you can get currently. Of course, there is some events whenever you can can get additional artifacts for from paying or season-ending rewards. But yeah, I always speak about the artifacts which we can uh, currently get. Other than that, what's, what we need to speak about right now is uh, Warpets. Uh, and it's pretty simple, uh, like one of the most popular Warpets has been uh, Sapphire Fair Drake because it's a magic um, uh, Warpet and uh, most popular um, hero in general have been Lilia and I think in general Lilia made uh, the Fair Drake that uh, popular. Regarding like uh, which kind of... Uh, skills you need to have on your warpit on your lilia well uh, it's pretty simple plain bloom uh, upgraded follow-up for more rate skill uh, resonance and like i think in general any magic um, uh, type of uh, warpit will be fine with lilia as long as uh, the warpit is dealing magic damage that's my honest opinion if you want to have more information about sapphire frederick i have done two guides about uh, it first one was when it was introduced and the second one uh, just like a couple a couple of weeks ago uh, other than that like we already know how to get uh, lilia unfortunately it's impossible for uh, players like me who are not paying any any money in this game who wants to try the game orga in a, on an organic way but if you have uh, like interest in this game and there is nothing uh, like for you to spend some hundred and one dollar or like two hundred dollars in the game get Lilia you will have a lot of fun you will have uh, like a lot of merits out of her like it, she's totally worth it uh, if you are in general paying money in the games and uh, like uh, it's nothing different from you uh, that's why uh, it was time for me to speak about her because I have never spoken uh, about Lilia and I have in general never spoken about heroes which I don't have. Uh, I got lucky and I got Syndrion out of the season ending rewards but other than that like you can't even get uh, Lilia and Hosk uh, from the any ways of the game rather than just paying. Uh, if I have to choose which, I, which hero I would want to have more Lilia or uh, Hosk I would go for Hosk but that does not mean that Lilia is no worse than Hosk uh, simply because I'm a marksman player and I would use Hosk in a much better way than Lilia but uh, mostly we have way more mage heroes mage players in this game and like it's not a surprise for me that Lilia is almost always the first choice and uh, like uh, that's the first thing you pay for in the game whenever you are in general paying for the for the things in the uh, mobile games or in general games um, other than that there is not much to speak about uh, regarding Lilia like she's one not one of the best I think she's the best hero in general in the game if we're gonna speak only about popularity and if we're gonna go deep inside her skill set and understand why and what for 
then it's easy to understand that like, like tier 5 play you are tier 5 player you have infernal flame you have awakened lilia you see like 15 to 20 um, tier 4 players around the same area you go there and you kill them like in, in the fastest way there is not a single hero which gonna defeat uh, legions in a mass uh, wars uh, faster than lilia that's why i think lilia was made uh, for pay to win players to start to enjoy game from the beginning um, yeah uh, that's my opinion like if you agree uh, show me that you agree if you don't uh, i always like to have uh, conversations uh, in a comment sections uh, this is all i wanted to speak about this interesting and powerful hero um, i hope you are liking the content if you do uh, press like uh, share comment subscribe it always gives me more motivation and more uh, like drive to bring you more and more content uh, currently my season is all in the finish line in couple of days i'm gonna start season ti and a lot more interesting stuff will be on the channel so i'm sure you don't want to miss it thanks for watching i hope you are having amazing day night or morning depending wherever you are um, i'm gonna see you very very soon bye bye